feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to give you guys a house tour of the new house. We are so excited, oh my goodness. So our closing date was set for May 17th. We actually did not close on May 17th. It got pushed back. Um, so we just closed on May 30th, which was last week Thursday. So we closed on May 30th and literally we started moving things into the house and um, we're starting our renovations and everything. Um, it's not a lot of renovations. It's sort of like an older house, but they kind of did some renovations to the house. So you'll see it. So what I'm going to show you is an empty house tour, but we do have some furniture that has been delivered like our living room couches and we have a bedroom set that has been delivered. Um, we are literally taking up the carpets in the bedrooms right now. So we're not moving the bedrooms in as of yet. So we haven't like totally moved into the house. We're sort of just bringing in things slowly, you know, slowly but surely. Um, so we haven't like moved move into the house yet. We're still living in the other house for now. Um, and we're kind of just coming back and forth and doing like a little bit of renovations here and there, which I am going to take you guys uh, along with me to sh you know kind of show you everything that we're doing. But I just wanted to give you guys an empty house tour. And then what I'm gonna do is each room, because we are definitely going to take our time um, to decorate and to renovate this house because it is like my dream. It's not the dream house, but I, this is my dream house right now. And so I am going to take you guys along with us as we renovate and decorate each room and the kitchen needs renovation. It's, the house was built in 1929. So the kitchen still has the 1929 metal cabinets and a stainless steel countertop <laughs> and um, the 1920s bathrooms and everything. So we are, I am thinking of keeping, you know, some of the character in the bathroom, like the tiles and everything, but we're definitely going to be doing some painting and getting rid of some, um, the vanities and putting new vanities in, or new toilets in and things like that. So as we renovate and go through every, every room, you guys will get to see the before and the after results as well. But I'm going to stop talking right now and I'm going to give you guys an empty house tour of the new house. I am so excited and I know you guys are excited. You guys have been waiting forever. And let me tell you guys, the neighborhood is amazing. Oh my goodness, I love the neighborhood. I love my neighbors. The school district is fantastic. Um, all the neighbors came up to us like the day before closing. We did our, our walkthrough and the neighbors came up to us and they introduced themselves and telling us about who lives on the block and it just was oh my god it's just if we live on a cul-de-sac and our home is on a double lot so i'm super duper excited at how humongous the yard space is my kids are enjoying it but i'm gonna stop talking i'm going to film a video and go in depth of the entire process of home buying and um you know what you can expect and all these good things and crazy things so um yeah so Let's get into the house door. So this is our front door. Like we literally have our front door open because um, you know, you just can do that around here. You leave the front door open and nobody bothers you, nobody walk in. So you see the outside and that's pretty much uh, what I'm going to show you of the outside. It's a beautiful neighborhood. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. It's a tree lined street neighborhood. We have our Baxter there because we're doing some uh, renovations and picking up the carpets. But I'm not going to show you too much of the outside just for privacy. But I just wanted to show you, you know, this is the front door. It's a colonial style home. So you have the entryway as you walk in and then we have the living room that's over here and then we have the dining room that's over here so this is the entryway and we're going to change out these lights the um paint color is like i don't know what the name of the color is or from what company it's from um because when we moved here they the house was already painted I literally was going to paint the house this creamish color, but it was already painted. So I'm just so grateful to God that I don't have to do any type of 
painting or anything like it's already done upstairs downstairs it's already done um, but this is basically what it is the floors is the real hardwood floors and as you can see it's dirty because we've been just running all over the place I got my broom um, this chair we're gonna get rid of but my daughter absolutely love it it came from the, the old owners that was here and look at this you guys isn't this so sweet like oh we first when we first walked into this house I was like this is the house this house is covered by God this is the house so I am just so excited about it and you can tell it's an old home it has like the real door knocker on the doors I just love it it has so much character and you know everything and oh we're gonna change out this light and we're gonna change out all the lights in the house but this light I am going to keep and put somewhere else in the house I don't know where yet but I'm gonna keep it because I think it's kind of cute I just have to clean it and put some new light bulbs and it'll be good so this is the entryway area and I just love the staircase you guys it literally goes all the way up <laughs> for days it's just so pretty oh my goodness I just absolutely love it and then this is the living room I love the living room so we just got our new couches delivered um, it's such a humongous space there are no lights in here so we definitely have to get um, some lights in this house but it's just so roomy it is so much more space than what we had in the older house and you guys know I am like living to decorate like I cannot wait I feel like I haven't decorated since my last home spring home video and I just cannot wait I and we have a fireplace and it's a real working fireplace it's a gas fireplace um, so we have like the switch that's on the side and it just turns on and I'm loving it and I can't wait to get in here and decorate for the summer and for the fall and Christmas and Thanksgiving is going to be so nice you guys and I'm super duper excited about it and I love these windows I am so not going to cover my windows because I think they are gorgeous and I just love the character that they both have um, these windows obviously I'm definitely going to put some uh, Roman shades or drapes or something like that but I'm not going to put any blinds because I just don't want to take away from the beauty of the outside coming in um, but I'm definitely going to have some blackout curtains you know at nighttime we can pull them in and then in the daytime we can you know spread them apart so I'm so excited about this room about this house this house is 2400 square feet for the second and the first floor and then the basement is another I think 700 square feet and then the attic is another 700 square feet so this house is off the chains you guys I just love it oh my goodness and this is the um, the dining room area and I finally had my little bay window or bow window whatever they call it but I finally have my window and I am so loving it the chandelier we are definitely going to be changing out as well um, we're getting a new dining room table um, there it's going to be delivered in the next three weeks and we're going to be putting it here we're changing out the chandelier as well and I'm still contemplating if I should put a china cabinet there or if I should put a faux fireplace or you know a bench with a big mirror I'm not really sure yet I'm still kind of just you know looking around and seeing what um, I want to do in here but I definitely want this to be more formal this is where we come and we sit for holidays and all my family friends everybody already is just like oh we're coming for Thanksgiving we're coming for Christmas we're coming for this so it'll it'll definitely be a good thing to have a formal dining space and then a casual eating area which we do have I'm gonna show you that in a minute um, where we can you know dine and eat on a daily basis but this is uh, one of my daughter's bedroom set um, we just got it delivered so because we're pulling up the carpet in the bedrooms we just had them put it here and then later on we can bring it up into the room but this is the dining room and remember I told you this house was built in 1929 so we still have <laughs> Yes, we still have like that swing door. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> so we still have the swing door, you guys. And it needs help. But this door is going. 
we're taking this door off and I, I'm gonna keep it because I do like the door I just don't know where I'm gonna put it yet but I'm definitely going to keep it and do something with it but this is the kitchen it's, it's not a big kitchen it's a smaller kitchen um, let me see if I can get the lights on there we go but it's, it's definitely you can see the metal cabinets right the metal, <laughs> metal cabinets and you know I've been doing research on it to see if I should get rid of them it has a lot of space a lot of storage space to see if I should get rid of them or if I should just get you know regular and this light doesn't work but if I should get like regular um, wood stock cabinets and paint them um, so we're still kind of contemplating on what we want to do because you know to renovate an entire kitchen it's a budget and <laughs> There's a lot of, there's some cosmetic work to do in the entire house, but we are loving it. We have a dishwasher. We told them we wanted to keep the dishwasher for sure. And the stove, because it's an electric stove, but it's a usable stove and it's a beautiful stove. So why get rid of it? Um, so we're going to keep that for a while. And then this refrigerator is tiny. We do have a refrigerator though. My son is showing you guys his abs. <laughs> so silly we do have a, the stainless steel refrigerator that my husband surprised me with um, that we're going to be putting here so this is going to go in the garage um, and it's going to be out there for like when we have barbecues and things like that hi Kayla Beasy <laughs> and then this guys is our breakfast nook eating area so it's so beautiful. I just I love all the window spaces that it has. The light is going to be coming out of here. I just love how bright everything is. And then it looks onto the back patio. And then there goes Nyla Beasy. It's just so beautiful and peaceful back there. Our lawn is getting done. One of our neighbors, which is so weird, like we're not used to it, but one of our neighbors actually he came over and he was just like, listen, I'm going to mow the lawn for you guys and take care of it. And he literally mowed the front and the backyard for us. And it's, I'm just like, wow, my neighbors are amazing. They are totally amazing. Um, okay. So now we're going into the back hallway. So this is the back hallway and it leads to, this is the basement. That's the mud room. This is the bathroom. So, and the floors, we're going to be taking up the floors from the kitchen. All this is going to be gone. This is the bathroom. 1920s, right? Can you tell? <laughs> it's beautiful though. I actually love the tiles and I don't think I'm gonna get rid of the tiles. I'm going to keep the tiles. Um, I'm definitely getting rid of this and I'm getting rid of the toilet. And I'm getting rid of this and this situation. Um, but I'm going to keep this for now, but I'm definitely going to be keeping the tile. At first I was like, I'm going to paint the tiles, but I actually like that it is yellow and I can just bring it, you know, current and up to date. So I, I'm still kind of thinking what I want to do. And then the floors, oh my goodness, it's to die for. I love these floors. I didn't think I was, you know, into like the vintage style, but I actually do love it. So I'm going to, um, you know, take you guys um, along on the journey of when I do that. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing, you guys, the transformation. And then this is our mud room. I love this little area. Let me see if I can we're still kind of getting used to the light switches. I, I don't know where the light switch is for this one, but um, wait, let me see if I can. Oh, there it goes. So this is the mudroom and there's some storage in there. And I'm thinking about putting a bench here. Um, you know, something, something there, but it has its own little windows. And this, oh, it hasn't been open in a long time, so, yeah. I like this painting. <laughs> and then this is storage, which is going to be great because we, I could, 
put like the mops and the brooms, you know, and all that good stuff in here. And then some cleaning supplies in there as well. So this is great. And I think what I'm going to do is put, um, I have like this scripture that I got from Hobby Lobby that I'm going to put there and then I'm going to put some hooks and pictures and just the whole nine and it's just going to be so awesome and amazing. So let me take you guys down to the basement. Oops, did I get that? Yep. Let me turn this light off. Okay, so this is the basement you guys and we actually have our contractor, he's coming on Monday to kind of give us um, some estimates of some work that we need to be done. So I'm still contemplating whether I should take these out and just sheetrock the entire wall um, or leave them in for storage. I don't know, I'm still contemplating. But this is the basement. We're going here and then putting a door right here so that way you don't see that. And then everything here is going to be sheet rock. We're taking this out. Um, it has like mold in it and all that stuff. And we could probably just clean it out and use it for storage, but I kind of want downstairs to be like more of like a family area, kid friendly, like they can come downstairs, they can relax, they can chill, you know, watch TV, play video games, whatever, do some crafts. So this area is going to be sheet rock off. I'm gonna put um, a wall here and a French door. And then this is going to be like the lounge space. We're gonna, we have a, our sectional um, that we had in the old family room. We're gonna put it down here as well. Um, new ceiling is gonna be sheetrock. Everything is going to be sheetrock, sheetrock, <laughs> sheetrock. New um, floors. And then this is like a storage area as well. We're gonna be do redoing that. That's a sub pump that we're going to take care of. And then this is going to be the laundry room slash utility room. So as you, as you see it now, this is all going to be different. It's all going to be changed. You guys remember we did our laundry room remodel in the older house and the, it sort of looked like this before and then after they did it, it just looked amazing. So we're gonna have the contractor redo the ceiling um, just sheetrock, just redo everything, and then he's going to put up a wall here with a door that hides all the mechanicals, but we can still access it if we need to. Um, and then we're going to put our washer and dryer here, and then have a fold, a folding station with cabinets at the bottom. And this is all going to be um, sheetrock, and you know, it's it's going to look amazing. So. I'm super duper excited about this basement because it's humongous and it's tall. Like my husband is 5'11", I believe, and he fits down here with no problem and still have room to spare. So we are so excited about it, you guys. So excited about it. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys upstairs now. upstairs landing and it has like two staircases I guess um, one goes to one of my daughter's room and then the other one goes to the rest of the bedrooms so let me take you this is gonna be Nyla's room and we're going to be putting a railing here and a railing here for her and refinishing off the floors my husband came in and he literally started rip, ripping up the carpets so this is her bedroom and I just love all the windows and the natural light that's coming in. It's just so beautiful. And this is her closet that we're going to, oh, I'm sorry for the blurriness, you guys. We're going to do like a full on closet system for her closet. We have to get some doors. So, but she has some storage and we're going to be redoing the floors and everything like that. 
So here I'm going to be doing some board and batten on her wall and then her TV is going to go here and then I'm also going to be doing a sensory wall for her. Now most of you that don't know, my daughter Nyla, she's 13 years old, she does have Down syndrome. So we have to make her room specified to her and you know to the things that she likes to do. We don't keep a lot of things in her room because she needs space and she breaks <laughs> things. So like a dresser she doesn't need, a uh, chest of drawers she doesn't need, side table she doesn't need. So she's literally just going to have her bed, her uh, TV, sensory wall, and um, her floors is gonna be redone and her closet is going to be locked off so that she won't be able to get in, take all the clothes and hangers. It's, I'm telling you guys, it's, <laughs> it's an ordeal. But we just want her room to be nice and cozy and beautiful at the same time, but simplified enough for her to enjoy it and not have a lot of things in her way that's cumbersome. Also, this is gonna be the wall where her headboard is gonna be on. So I'm going to be doing like a, a, um, a wallpaper treatment on this side of the wall. It's going to be so gorgeous and I'm so excited. I can't wait. And so when you come down these steps, this is what you see. It is so beautiful, you guys. I love, I love the railings. I just, oh, I just love the details in it. I love the floors. Okay, so this is my son's bedroom. I know his bedroom is humongous. I'm kind of rethinking like, should I take this bedroom and give him the other one? Um, but the other bedroom, the master bedroom is just, just as big, um, maybe bigger. But that's his closet there. And then he also has a lot of windows. All the bedrooms have so much windows. Oh my goodness. And I know that this, this um, house tour is probably a little long, but I'm sorry, you guys. So I'm gonna take you guys out to the backyard, but that's, that's my backyard. That's my view. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Okay, so this is Mikey's bedroom. Okay, and then this is Michaela's bedroom. And then that's her closet. It's the same size walk-in closet as Nyla's. And as you can see, we're taking up her carpet as well. And guys, I just love, I mean, look at the details of these knobs. I am definitely not getting rid of these knobs. You're kidding me? These are like character. I just, I love it so much. And then this is the second floor bathroom. I am absolutely going to keep the tiles. And here, I think I'm going to paint it, paint the tiles white, and then paint um, a the walls itself. I'm thinking about doing a wallpaper treatment on the on the sheetrock and then painting this white. We're gonna get new counters, new faucets, um, definitely, definitely new toilet. Ugh, don't wanna see that. <laughs> um, and then, hi guys. New everything and then this is what our view is from the bathroom. And then this is our master bedroom. Picking up all the carpet. That light is going. And that's the other side of it. It's humongous, it's big. It's big enough for me and Michael, it, it works. And then this is the closet, linen closet that we're going to be, I'm going to, I don't know if this is a cedar lining, but I think cedar boards are a lot wider, but I don't know, but I, I don't know. But we're going to be fixing that as well. Getting the carpet up. And fixing that as well. So now I'm going to take you guys upstairs to the attic that is not finished. We're definitely going to be refinishing it, but I just wanted to take you guys upstairs so you can see 
how humongous this thing is and it's so hot up here oh my gosh it is super duper hot but if you guys I hope you guys can see it can you see how big this thing is like it goes all the way back there so that we're going we're going to sheetrock everything and we're also going to be turning that into like a movie theater room this is the area over here we got to put up like railings and stuff like that here um, and then this is an add-on that the old homeowners did so they insulated everything and we're going to be using this part as like a guest room area so it's just so huge you guys and we just love it so much we just absolutely love it so much so it's so much that we can do here but I'm excited about it you guys so I just wanted to show you guys the staircase going down this is like one of my favorite views I absolutely love looking down from the top of the staircase it's so beautiful and I think here I'm gonna get like a big mirror and put right there with a console table it's gonna be fantabulous so yeah so oh I gotta show you guys the backyard the backyard is so lovely so lovely it's it's such a big house like the old house we had before I think it was 1800 square feet so I mean it's a little bit more square footage but it's beautiful so this is the backyard Nyla is loving the backyard. I think it's like maybe her favorite space in this, in, 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 well, inside, outside the house. So this is like a little garden area that we saw here and Michael's already like ripping it up because we want to make this into like our organic garden where we can plant like tomatoes and onions and basils and you know, peppers and things like that. So I'm so excited about it because I was looking for a house that had a space where we can put garden uh, an organic garden in because um, you know we want to start not start we've already started but we want to continue to eat healthy so growing your own greens and your own products kales and spinach and all that is the way to go so I'm excited about it I'm so excited about it and then that's the entry way to the backyard so I'm thinking we're gonna do something here maybe some chairs and a table and then put like our patio set here and like a little outdoor living room, you know, um, sectional right there. And guys, I gotta show y'all what I'm most excited about, okay, for the outside. I know y'all don't think I'm crazy, but you know I'm a Christmas fanatic. I absolutely love Christmas, guys. Look at this. We have an outdoor outlet. Oh my gosh. I can finally put my Christmas lights up. Ah, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited about that. So as you can see, Nyla is loving you loving the yard space, Nyla? You loving it? Mommy. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Aww. So we have our neighbor. He actually just came and, and mowed the lawn for us, which was the sweetest thing ever. Oh, my gosh. I am I love my neighbors already. They are amazing people, and it's just so beautiful. And Daddy BZ is just taking in the scenery. He's just... <laughs> he's on top of the world right now. <laughs> Sometimes I pinch myself, you guys, because I sometimes I'm like, I still can't believe we get to live here. This is crazy. <laughs> so he's scoping. He already scoped out the area where he wants to put the pool and the slide and everything like that. <laughs> and then this is the garage. It's a humongous garage because you can enter through it from both uh, sides of the neighborhoods. Like I said, it's on a double lot. So we can come in from the other, the other street and then from the front street and the back street. Um, so it's a drive through garage and it's humongous and I love this little paved pathway there's already an outdoor utility um, socket for pools and it's so quiet and just beautiful we're gonna be putting up a fence there um, and this is the backyard you guys this is the backyard we're so excited and let me take you into the garage. <laughs> now the sunbathing, you guys. So this is the garage. This thing is huge. I mean, 
this is like my husband's uh, dream right here. <laughs> he has his two car garage and he's just loving it, you guys. Is the, is the light working in here? Yeah. No. But they can see. It's pretty bright. How did it turn it on last time? I don't know. Still getting used to it. Yeah, we're still getting used to everything. So we're going to be putting the refrigerator, that uh, stainless steel refrigerator I showed you guys. So it's going to go somewhere in here. And you know, once we're outside in the patio, we can come in here, grab some drinks, grab some water. When I say drinks, I mean like juice, not like, you know, hard knock, vodka, all that. <laughs> but just some, you know, some pops, soda pops and everything. And then this is the driveway that leads to the um, other side of the house. And yeah, so. We're so excited, that's the whole house. And we're so excited, I know it's a long video, but I know you guys, yeah, shut in the basement. Went to the attic? Yep. <laughs> and I know you guys have been with us on this journey and you've seen where we started from and everything and to now be in this beautiful home. We started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> we started from the bottom, now my whole family here. <laughs> We're just so excited and just so grateful to God. He is absolutely amazing. He is an incredible, incredible God. He has kept us in so many ways and this whole home buying process, it has been really so smooth, except for like the last couple of days um, when we were supposed to close, but we didn't close, but I'll explain that to you guys in another video. But I just, I'm so excited you guys. So. We are home, we bought our house, and we are here, and we're loving it, and we can't wait to completely and totally move in. So, we will definitely keep you guys posted, and stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of videos that's coming up, and yeah, so see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Oh, don't forget, it's been so long that I haven't done a video, you guys. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you don't miss a video. And also, don't forget to like and share and leave comments. You guys know I love to talk to you guys. Um, so leave comments and yeah, we will see you guys in the next episode. Take some time to enjoy each other, enjoy your family, enjoy this beautiful summer. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight.